Hi, I'm doing some thumbnails and I am gonna give a little tutorial on how to do that on Photoshop. Uh, we need the thumbnails for a friend's website. I am helping her with her WordPress site and it's based on short code so we need specific sizings. Uh, I already did one here but I'm gonna explain how to do that. Uh, she has really nice photos. She's an actress, great actress and fun to work with if you want to look her up. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna work on this one. And first, I need to make it a little bit smaller to fit my screen. So, I'm just gonna put it here manually. Maybe on a 75. All right. There. So we want to first make it square since we need 200 by 200 and I'm going to make this accessible. So create a layer and just make a copy for safety. All right. I don't need any, I'm gonna hide it because we don't really need it. And now what we want to use is the crop crop tool. And we are gonna make it as square as possible. So let's see. We want to keep her in the center and at the same time this is 13, 14, a little bit past the 14, and this is 9. So we want to take like a little bit over 2 on each side um, since it is wider. I, I'm trying to not compromise the logo here, but it's gonna. If I do that, then I'm gonna. put her off center so as much as possible um, I'm gonna okay let's start with that this is a fun photo so we're gonna start with that one and here I'm gonna make sure that I'm hiding and not cropping and crop Accept. All right, so we're going to image to make sure that the canvas is square. So here, select canvas size, and it isn't. So I'm going to give it a shot first and move it to the left. And you want to make it square, so we're going to put here the smaller size, match the smaller size. So you can switch to pixel if that makes it easier for you. So 680, so the higher one, we're going to bring it to 680 and see what happens. Let's try this first. So we are keeping this, but that puts her way to the right. Um, We could go back and maybe move it a little, but I'm going to try to just simply center it. Let's see. Then I'm going to the canvas and matching the smaller size. So 9.443. And yes, my Photoshop is in Spanish, but I hope that you still get what's going on here. We're going to center it, so we're going to leave it there. And let's see the result. Hmm. So it is cropping a lot here on the logo. I am going to go back again and I'm going to crop a little bit more, even if she's slightly off center. Let's see. Because also that gives us a little bit of interest and more sight on the rock. Let's see what that does. 
So, um, yeah. So you need to make decisions in what what part of the image you want to keep. And again, I'm gonna go to the canvas, center, match, nine point four four three. That's a little bit better. Perhaps if I can... Um, for a thumbnail you don't need to be so specific because it shows so smaller. Um, okay, so now we're gonna go to image and here now you want to go to image size. We couldn't do this first because when you alter the image size it keeps the relation and since the relation was not square we were not going to be able to get the 200 by 200 so here just change the 200 by 200 and that's it it's going to give us there I'm going to put it on 100% so we see the size and this is what you're going to end up with so that's perfect for our project I'm going to go ahead and save it uh, instead of saving in web, I'm going to save it in ping here. I want a ping format and I want to keep the quality. Since it is important to keep the quality in this space, that's what exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to... This is important. Um, there's going to be a lot, a lot of media, so naming correctly helps us organize uh, the whole site properly so we want to keep the same name as the bigger size photo so this, this the section there is going to state and we're going to add thumb 200 by 200 and leave the ping there and in this case I'm going to put it in See if I I already have current by development size and we're gonna save it. And that's it. Perfect. Now we're gonna transfer, but that I can do that in a different tutorial.